five foot nine, 19 years old from Delray Beach, the future of tennis. Corey Coco Golf, ladies and gentlemen, as a teenager, back to back years making the WTA Masters final. Two years in a row, singles and doubles, 18 and 19, both years consecutively. She is by far the future of tennis. No one in this draw has done something like that. Coco is amazing. Now, can she win this tournament? She's a 3.5 to 1 underdog, tied with Rebecca, the third most favorable odds to win it all behind Iga and Sabalenka. But listen, Coco's beat Anjabor a couple of times, Marquetta a couple of times, and she beat Iga one time. <laughs> so she's beat everyone in this draw. I think she can win this tournament. Coco has an underrated serve, one of the fastest serves on record at the U.S. Open. The fastest serve on record in Beijing. She's beat the who's who. She's coming into this tournament here. One of the hottest players on tour. Right, guys? We go back to August. Or even, I mean, we can go back to Washington, right? Again, August, starting the month here. Coco Golf has beat the who's who. She only has two losses since August. She's beat everyone, guys. Everyone. And those two losses are Pigula and Iga. She's beat Sakri, Kudamatova. She's beat Sabalenka, Mukova, Ostapenko, Mertens. Caroline Wozniacki, she's beat Iga, she's beat Polini, Noskova, Samsonova, Bencic. So, in terms of Coco, I do think she can win this tournament. Again, her serve's underrated. She's got a lot of power on the serve. Since the break from the U.S. Open, I've noticed a lot of things, guys. Guys, The forehand, for a while there, mid-year, I'd say she was using it more as a defensive tactic, right? Just getting balls back. Now she's attacking with the forehand again. That's right. Right forehand facing north has been the game plan, the weakness. Now she's attacking with it, with it again. Coco can play the line. She can extend you past the line. She can play you mid-range. She can hit drop shots. She can cover the net well. Coco, in my opinion, with Iga, I put Iga 1A, 1B, however you, you're feeling that day. The two best defenders here, Iga and Coco. Coco can run down any ball. She hurts. She's so athletic. She's so fast. She can chase down balls, get them back, and make you make mistakes. So when it comes to defense and transitioning to offense, I don't think anyone does it better than 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 Coco, aside from Iga in this tournament. Can Coco get out of this draw? I think she can, but the first match is going to be tricky because she's playing on Jabor, right? So her first match is on October 30th, and she's going to take on Anjabor in the late match. That's the second match of the day. If In case you're not familiar with, with the format, there's two matches per day in singles and two matches per day in doubles. Anz is the best shot maker in the world, in my opinion. If Coco is going to have any chance to make it to the semifinal, she has to beat Anz. And this is going to be a difficult match because Anz is going to test Coco to make shots. Coco to win that match, she's gonna have to ex she's gonna have to extend on past the lines. We all know we saw Linda do a good job of that at the U.S. Open. Back up Anz Jabor behind the line so she can't start styling and profiling with her great cross court shots and mid range game and drop shots and slices. It's a tough match because I do feel that Coco should win that match. But Anz is going to challenge her, and I think Anz is going to stretch her horizontally, while I think Coco's game plan would be to stretch Anz vertically, right? Make Anz come forward and go back. That's how you beat Anz. But Anz coming cross court is too dangerous. Who do you think wins that match, guys? Stay tuned. I will do an official prediction. But Coco Golf, can she win it all? I think she can.